Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're talking about NFL All Day in this one. It's been a minute since I made a video on NFL All Day, so stay tuned for everything we got to talk about in this one. We're going to cover how you can make NFL All Day great again because it was great. It back last early season of the NFL, it was way more fun than Top Shot. Prices mooned, obviously, and I think that can honestly happen again. You know, if they hype up NFL season have a sick playbook again. That was honestly what had people stoked about it was the playbook. And then they just completely changed it. But we'll get into playbook a little later. It was funny. Before I started making this video, I went back and watched my week two playbook strategy. Actually, my first strategy was to just sell all your moments because these prices were insanely inflated. The floor was like $9, $10. And some of these moments that were hitting in challenges for commons were going to like 50 60 bucks so that was kind of funny but but looking at this the strategy i was talking about this playbook was sick it was super fun uh, but we'll get into playbook a little later in the video we're going to talk about a few things before that but before we even get into nfl all day wanted to mention so rare mlb has been really fun you could play for free or at this point in the season you could put together a solid limited lineup for like 20 bucks nba as well you could play for free it's going to be hype next season as well. So get into So Rare if you haven't. It'll be linked down below to get your free cards. Back to NFL all day. I can't remember if I said anything about Saquon here, but pay that man. want to see him play. So the first thing I think to make NFL all day great again, you know, just fix these drops. There was no hype around these drops. This might be due to them laying off a bunch of people. They don't have as many human resources to allocate to this product when they're mainly focusing on Top Shot, which seems apparent but this drop 1200 out of 20,000 packs sold out and this is not a bad drop the EV I'm not an EV calculator master but I think it's over five bucks maybe the floor is obviously two dollars but there's a bunch of commons that are three four five six bucks for commons that you could easily pull in these packs we're gonna open our pack up if it'll let us so that's the second thing is these packs aren't even openable. Uh, they sent out something saying that, that people are having trouble opening packs. Let's see if I can even open mine. All right, well, it's openable now. So I guess they got that fixed. But, I mean, it shouldn't ever be an issue at this point. Let's see what we get here. There's a chance at a rare, which I didn't get. Common Chiefs. Oh, no, Marlon Mack. Sheesh. That's not what you want. That's definitely $2. But the cool thing about playbooks is there's a lot of burning involved with their playbooks, and there always has been. So you could burn this, and wow, that was a really good good play. That was probably the best Broncos play of last season. <laughs> and Russell Wilson got credit for a 70-yard touchdown pass on that. Uh, here we go. What's the next one? Is it the same exact one? Okay, no. MDS, not a debut championship badge. Chiefs moment. I'll take it. It's probably a $2 moment, but hey, I might buy another pack. Screw it. But these are both out of 7000 so at least not 10000 but I'll probably burn them. Good to have a Chiefs moment, though. But anyways, the first thing, they just need to allocate more resources, it seems, to all day. Top Shot has done a good job of hyping up these pack drops, and they've been instant selling out, basically. And all day can't seem to do that right now, so they need to build some hype around the season as well and pack drops i don't know how they're going to do that maybe announce a roadmap get people excited about the roadmap uh, make an app like they did for top shot which can't be too hard to just basically mimic exactly what they have from top shot that would be nice in the roadmap maybe announce some set rewards they really haven't done much with set rewards except for sometimes using them in the playbooks but it's not getting your value back for sure Owning a couple hundred dollars set for for just like 20 yards in a playbook or something that people don't even want to really complete. So, you know, set rewards would be nice. Something along the lines of free packs or more utility even than that. Something they have done really nicely is keep the scarcity and player mints low. You know, some of these moments are too highly minted but we look at the best receiver in football he has one 10k moment one rare out of 1200 and 
two legendaries and one ultimate. Not that many moments. If you add all these together, it's under 12,000 total moments. Don't make me compare this to NBA Top Shot. One of the best players, Giannis, has, I don't know, 300,000 total if you add all these up. So they've done a good job of keeping scarcity low. And they have less users, but if they bring over some of these users from Top Shots, and when NFL All Day was more fun than Top Shot during the beginning of the regular season, I think that brought a lot of Top Shot people over. Obviously, the NFL season is going to start before NBA, so why not allocate more resources right now to All Day, hyping up their beginning of the season? Scarcity's pretty low as well. And a lot of these moments have been burned. Like, obviously not a lot of Justin Jefferson moments were burned. But if we just look at a mid-tier receiver, who do we have here? Alan Lazard, I think, is probably a good one. You can see he has one rare, one moment out of 10,000. But almost 2,000 of those are burned. And 51 of his rares are burned. See how many are listed. Actually, I want to see this play real quick. Oh. Whoa, actually, that was a cool play. And actually, I don't know. If he didn't catch the second time, I don't think that would have counted. So that's a pretty cool moment, actually. But 356 for sale. Some of these moments have pretty thick floors. Yeah, this one's got a super thick floor. I don't know how many we have to go through here to actually hit 10K. It's, it's a lot. So, but... Anyways, these players just don't have a lot of moments. So, you know, if Alan Lazard does hit in a challenge, people are going to be scooping that one up. All right, so building some kind of momentum into the season. Honestly, if you just take the current Top Shot user base and get them excited back into NFL all day, I think some of these moments could, could blow up and it could be a lot of fun for the playbook. Something they were doing really well last season was listening to people actually on Twitter who were talking about all day and things they didn't like. And they were adjusting the playbook every week. And then all of a sudden, they just completely changed the playbook. And their reasoning, I think, was... So the playbook, how it worked was... Basically, there was something you needed to do for the Thursday night game. So the Thursday night game was basically the start of the playbook. And it was like, you need the top receiver from this game on Thursday night the most receiving yards. So say that was Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard was bottlenecking, right? But say Justin Jefferson was in that game and it looked like it was going to be him to the last minute. People were paying, you know, $50 for Justin Jefferson. And then Lazard passed him at the last minute. Jefferson's price goes from 50 back down to 20 People were basically losing 30 bucks by buying Jefferson ahead of time. But, you know, that was part of the game, obviously. And it was super fun, and I saw some people complaining about that, but that wasn't the biggest complaints, and it was a ton of fun and building hype around it. And honestly, people are just dumb. Like, you got to be sure on these things. If you're paying more than double the price for it, you got to be like 100% sure. I wouldn't mind waiting till after the game to buy Jefferson for 60 bucks rather than trying to like save $10 and risk it to buy it mid game but then it got everyone hyped about NFL games all week long because then you had the entire Sunday slate which carried more weight because there's more games and people had to get these bottlenecks and see like who is going to have the most rushing yards who's going to have the most completions all that and it just made it really fun and even common moments were bottlenecking I think the biggest complaint was there was no utility for these people that invested in rares and legendaries so why not just have multiple tiers of playbooks, the rookie, whatever, veteran, and experience, or whatever, the three tiers they had. I thought they could have just gone with that instead of just completely getting rid of what got people excited in the first place about these playbooks. You know, with the different tiers, maybe the mid-tier you need like three commons of Lamar Jackson or a rare, and then the higher tier you need a rare or a legendary, or you could just use the legendary like wild card or, or something like that. So I think there's definitely ways they could have fixed playbook without taking out the bottleneck possibility because it just became super predictable. And I remember like the playbooks towards the end of the season is basically just wait 
until all the games are over for the week and then you're like okay now i just have to buy like a 60 dollar rare and it's like that was it or something so it's kind of pointless at the end but it was super fun in the beginning got people super hyped and it was awesome it was just a lot of fun to be honest so i don't know as a collectible it seems like it's holding up pretty well just looking at the top of the market a lamar jackson common with no badges is nine bucks which is awesome. Like that's good to see. If we come back to Top Shot again, <laughs> Giannis's common moments, even with a championship badge, is one dollar. You know, his spotlight is two dollars. Like we don't see any price discrepancy here between his commons um, and his commons versus I don't know who's a random NBA player. Probably his two dollar spotlight as well. You know, looking at other spotlights, Cam Johnson, Brogdon, Tobias Harris. Kuzma, Draymond Green, all these guys are the same price. Drew Holiday, Marcus Smart. It's like it doesn't make any sense as a collectible. Like why would I collect a Giannis spotlight over a Marcus Smart or a Kuzma or Nurkic or, or whatever, you know? At least the NFL all day has that going for them where a Lamar Jackson Common is $9 and a Devin DuVernay is $2. So it at least makes some sense as a collectible. But while I like NFL Day as a collectible, I wouldn't be collecting commons, you know. I'm collecting stuff with badges, rookie badges, debuts, I think, are, are cool as collectibles. And then these common moments are cool as game pieces. So I think you can have both and use some of these commons and rares and legendaries as game pieces in playbooks with different tiers. So I want to see them bring that back. I want to see them bring more hype and resources to NFL all day to have a really cool launch of the season and we've seen so much burning now that the scarcity is pretty low on NFL all day that they can sell more packs if they hype it up again like it was in the beginning of last season and bring more people back into NFL all day I don't know I'm just hyped for NFL season and last season it was a lot of fun playing these playbooks early in the year so you could make money you know you could speculate on bottlenecks you could speculate buying moments of these players that are playing in prime time games for the next weeks and buy those moments up in anticipation it was just a lot of fun i think they could get back to that you know some people don't like having these as as games they just want them to be collectibles i think you can have both and you know check out my video on the week two playbook it'll be linked here at the end and see how the playbook was built out in the beginning of last season. I thought it was pretty cool. Check that one out, and I'll see you guys in another video. Sign up for So Rare 2 and subscribe to the channel.